Yo, 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 what up guys? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing. And today, uh, I've got a little something different. Well, not different, but this one's gonna be more of, let's say an interactive unboxing because I have a question for you guys and I want you to be able to answer that question. And the question is, is this the best looking Adidas Ultra Boost so far? So if you've been on the internets at all in the last week or so, people have been raving about this colorway of the Adidas Ultra Boost, calling it the best Adidas Ultra Boost colorway. And I'm not gonna say my opinion on that, but I wanna know your opinion. So, so after the video is over, let me know what you guys think about this colorway down in the comments below. And also make sure you stay tuned to the end because I have a bit of a surprise for you guys at the end of this video. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. For those that don't know, this is the Adidas Ultra Boost. The shoe has been out for I believe three, maybe four years. And it's one of the shoes that really helped change the landscape for Adidas and the three stripes. It is officially a running shoe, although people just generally wear this shoe just casually. So without further ado, let's hop into the box. This is the regular Ultra Boost box. So whenever you get a pair of Ultra Boost, this is the box that these are actually going to come in. This is a size 11, which is my size. And this is the limited version, which will cost you $200. So the limited versions of these shoes are 200, but usually the Ultra Boost costs you 180. So inside the box, you see it just has the regular Boost paper on the foil, but then you see the shoe, which is, in my opinion, a very good looking shoe. This is a beautiful shoe. The official name or the nickname that the shoe has been given is the Adidas Ultra Boost Multicolor. So let's take it out of the box and get a better look at the shoe. Some of the details that Adidas has done very well on the last couple of pairs is of the Ultra Boost. They've changed the branding here on the heel cup. Generally, this is another color that kind of pops off, but this time they made it monotone, so it really blends in to the heel cup. So you see the Ultra Boost there, but it's black, but you really don't know it's there unless you're really looking for it. The Adidas on the tongue is also in black, so they're doing really good with the details there. And then the Adidas at the toe is in black as well. Now, as far as the rest of the shoe goes, you can see that the cage is black as well, and then the outsole is black. And for those that wear Ultra Boost or that wore the original pairs of Ultra Boost, you know that the outsole wore out pretty fast, but Adidas has since switched over to the Continental outsole, which is more durable and a bit more grippy, honestly, I feel like, in my opinion. So this will last you a little bit longer with this outsole. And speaking of the black that you see, that's kind of a bit of the theme that goes on with this shoe is black. Everything is pretty much black with the exception of the Ultra Boost. And even though the shoe is called multicolor, that's only really the exterior of the prime knit on the upper. Even if you look really detailed at the prime knit, you see that the base of the prime knit is completely black. There is some pop of color, obviously, as you can see, there's pink, there's purple, there's yellow, there's green, there's red, and all those colors really look great on the upper of the shoe, but the real base of the shoe is actually black. Now, before I get too far into this, again, I want you guys to leave your comment down below letting me know, do you think this is the best Ultra Boost colorway by far? But if you're here and you're just randomly found this video and you have no idea what Boost actually is, which is this white stuff you see here, check out my video. I'll put a link here or here where you guys can actually check that out and I'll give you an explanation of what Adidas Boost actually is. For those that do know what Adidas Boost is, Obviously, it's full length here in the Ultra Boost. It's a little different from the NMD. So personally, when I wear the Ultra Boost, I feel it's it's a softer, cushier feel than the NMD, even though they both use Boost. I feel like the implementation on the Ultra Boost is just a lot softer. And maybe that's why people actually run in these because it's softer, as opposed to the NMD, which is a fully lifestyle shoe. The Ultra Boost, by the way, is an actual running shoe, but the NMD is more of a lifestyle shoe and it's more firm to me, even though they use Boost, which is, you know, just a dynamic between the two. So if you want something softer uh, that you could probably wear a little longer than you can wear the NMD, 
I would say go with the Ultra Boost. That's the trade off. You either get the soft feel of the over extended boost or the NMD where it's a little firmer. But again, that's totally up to you. Anyway, I want to know what do you guys think of this shoe? Is this the best Ultra Boost so far? The best looking Ultra Boost 3.0. I should actually say this is the Ultra Boost 3.0, not just the regular Ultra Boost. The 3.0 that changed the way the prime and pattern looks. So this is a little bit different than your normal Ultra Boost that you've seen in the past. Again, this. This was a limited edition version of the shoe. These were 200, they've sold out. And as a surprise, I am going to give away 10 pairs of the sold out multicolor boost. These sold out this weekend and uh, Finish Line has given me 10 pairs to give away. And the way that you win, you have to go over to my Instagram. And on my Instagram, I have a post of the commercial that I did with Finish Line and it'll give you all the details in the description of that commercial, of that post of what you need to do in order to win a pair. As always guys, I appreciate you. I am Jacques Slade. Make sure you stay tuned because I do have some really cool stuff coming up for you guys in the next couple of days. With that being said, that's what's popping. I'll see you guys soon. Appreciate you. Peace.